Bunkers can be one of the more challenging positions you get in. Today we're going to talk about firm bunkers and how to hit a good shot out of there. In this challenging game, many people struggle the most with making solid contact. My name is John Gray, head golf professional at Native Oaks Golf Club and your host of the Gray Area. Let's get to it. Today I want to talk about how you're going to play out of a firm bunker. Everybody has a challenge when you get into a soft bunker, medium, but when you get into a firm one, you have to play it a little different. So right here, we've got a pretty firm bunker. I'm gonna actually take a club that has a little less loft on it. So I'm actually gonna take my 60 degree wedge that has eight degrees of bounce on it. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to actually dig into the sand more rather than having it bounce off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it more square. Generally, people will teach you to play with the club open and that's that's good in a regular soft firm, soft uh, bunker but when you get into a firm one you need the club to dig so we're going to take less bounce we're going to square the club up to the target a little bit more we're going to play the ball a little bit further back in your stance than normal so instead of it being a little bit towards your front foot I'm going to play it a little bit more towards the middle of my stance square my club up and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swing it a little bit steeper than normal so I can get the club descending quicker and actually dig into the sand. Because again, we still need to get under the ball to throw it up and out. Last is the, just the expectation of what's gonna happen. When you play it this way, the ball is gonna come out lower and it's gonna fly faster. So you need to hit a little softer than you're used to. So once again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna square the club up a little bit. We play the ball more towards the middle of the stance. I'm gonna take a smaller swing and see what happens. Not bad. So once again, if you, if you can see the sand right here, my club only dug maybe half an inch into the sand, whereas normally it would it'd probably get twice that deep and the divot would be longer. So the fact that I squared the club up, used less bounce, a little softer swing, and swing the club up and down a little bit more, just helps me get under the ball, throw it on the green for a better result. Give it a try. I think you'll have a good time. <music>